Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a short discussion regarding a power world feature that you might not remember existing due to the lack of focus on it in the various trailers and recent gameplay clips. That being the fusion slash crossbreeding mechanic that we got a very early glimpse of in one of the first power world trailers. Now I do find this quite interesting because when you look at other games in the genre like Cassepis or Monster Crown or Serulum that all have fusion and or crossbreeding, this is usually touted as one of the main features and a major drawing point for the game. Whereas in this case, it sort of takes a back seat to the more provocative aspects of the game, which I kind of do get because it's good for marketing and being able to do half the stuff you can do in Power World is pretty unique. So basically, I kind of just want to talk a little bit about what the system seems to entail based on the small clip we see and sort of speculate what the implications of the system could have on the game. So first things first, when talking about fusion as it pertains to monster taming, there are different ways that different games go about it. You have titles like Shin Megami Tensei that simply make it so that fusing two monsters together creates a new monster that already sort of exists within the game itself. The best way I can illustrate this to those who haven't played an SMT game is that it's like if you were going to fuse, let's say, Dragonair with Magikarp, you would then get a Gyarados. Essentially, Gyarados exists without the fusion, but you could also get it by fusing two other monsters. This, however, is not the case in this game, and it more so seems to follow the second trend we see with fusions, that being it creates a brand new species from the sum of the two monsters fused together. Now, that being said, there are subsections within this. You have games like Cassette Beats that'll use RNG to create thousands upon thousands of different combinations. You have titles like Monster Crown that essentially take a base form from one of the monsters and a palette from another. Uh, a similar system can be seen in Serulum, and it seems like that's sort of what Pal World is doing. From this very short clip of this water snake fusing with this fire guy, we see that the base creature model of the product seems to be nearly identical to the water snake from before. However, it has adopted the color palette of the fire creature. In terms of what the implications of this could mean, I'm assuming that there will be two breeding slots. Each slot will affect the fusion combination differently. For example, the monster in let's say slot A would carry over its actual form, while the monster in slot B would carry over its colors. This might end up being a lot deeper than just aesthetics. However, we could maybe see certain moves passing down based on the slots or a combination of movesets, or we could see like primary and secondary typings passed down based on which slot the monster is in. And what I mean by this is maybe if the fire guy was in slot A and the water snake was in slot B, we'd see some sort of combination where it takes the water snake's palette and fuses that with the fire guy's body. Monster Crown has a similar system to this and by changing around who you have in which slot and by breeding various generations together, you can end up with some insane move and stat combinations. So the amount of customization here cannot be understated. That being said, I may have an entire video dedicated to this, but it does seem that evolution's not a thing in Pal World, so instead this might be the main way you power up your monsters as well. My buddy Barry had an idea that maybe some of the weaker monsters can be fused together in order to increase their stats, but still take the same form afterwards. I wouldn't be surprised if it had some sort of mechanic where you can fuse two monsters together and perhaps they get bigger or something like that since they're the same species. But either way guys, like I said, really short video, there's not much to go off here until we get more information definitely let me know your thoughts and theories regarding the fusion system and how you think it'll operate. That being said, if you are a fan of Power World or just monster taming games in general, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily content. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon as well, linked below. And special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, Dark Persona, Exodus, and Candy Maruncy. And we'll see you next time. Peace.